Still got tons of torque. That wasn't even full throttle. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing a 2022 Ford Bronco Wild Tracks with some crazy modifications. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork for giving me some time with this modified Bronco. Check out the inventory in the description down below. They have this one for sale. They also have another one in Cactus Gray, as you guys can see, and they also have, wait for it, a Badlands as well. <laughs> so they have quite a few Broncos in inventory right now. So definitely check them out. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.7 liter V6. It goes with a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's good for 330 horsepower and then 415 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the Wild Track. So first off, you guys can see that the uh, center of the hood right there is raised and it says Wild Track on it. Sorry, it rained a little bit earlier today if you guys are wondering. You guys can see here with the headlights, you've got the daytime running lights with the LED headlights. You've got the white Bronco logo here on the front end with the camera there in the center. We have the cool like raised bull bar here. And then you guys can see here with the front bumper, it's got parking sensors and this thing could handle a rock if it came in its way. You've got tow hooks here on the front end as well. And then you guys can see here with the height on this Bronco. It is just crazy. Again, this is a uh, Badlands right here. So you can see like the height difference between both of them. Coming around the side here, we've got 37s wrapped around 22 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. Hostile wheels, if you guys are wondering, and they're all blacked out, which matches the theme of this particular Bronco quite well. You guys can see the aggressive tread pattern there on the tires. And then here's a quick look at the front suspension. So you guys can see the other upgrades. Now the Bronco comes standard with independent front suspension. And you guys can see here with the whole shock setup and everything. Right there you've got the Bilstein position sensitive shocks. And then notice here stock fender flare. We have our Wild Track Sasquatch sticker here. And then you guys can see here with the door handles how those match the fender flares. And then popping here over to the rear, you guys can see the setup's the same there on the back. And then if I take a few steps back, you can see the full side view on this Bronco, which looks pretty awesome. And the new Bronco does have a solid rear axle, something to mention. Still have the Bilstein shocks there in the back, but you guys can see here with the solid rear axle. Now here's our key fob. We have our unlock lock function, and then the remote start function, as well as the Bronco logo there on the back of the key fob. And if we open this up, so you have like the two stage opening here with the hydraulic function, which is pretty interesting. Now popping here to the rear, you guys can see here, I feel a little storage space underneath and we can pop up the window too if we want. And I just got rained on a little bit. So I guess, uh, again, like I said, it rained earlier. Notice here with the cage in the back, you guys can see the 12 volt here with the little Bronco light as well. And then when you're all done, just uh, do that. And this is actually really easy to close. Boom. So let's finish things up with the rest of the rear. So this one is a hard top, as you guys can see. And yes, we have another 37 for the spare tire. So it does in fact work. And then you can see the parking sensors here. We've got the recovery hook as well. And yeah, having the spare the same size as the other tires looks cool and is practical, of course. Now here's the door panel in the rear. You guys can see this one has like the cream tan interior. I don't know what color to call it, but you guys can kind of see the coloration here. Seats are two-tone, definitely a cool design. The Bronco has the stadium seating, so the rear seats are a little bit higher than the front seats, so the rear passengers can see quite well. Notice here with the window controls in the center and then the outlets as well. And then you guys can see this has the top insulation and window tint. Now here's the front door panel again, you guys can see here with the cream colored padding and then I love the exposed rivets, it's pretty cool there. And then obviously the mirrors fixed on to the body, it's kind of just like a Bronco thing. And then you can see here with the front seats again, got the Bronco horse here, you can see the bolstering here, notice the blue stitching on the seats. And then you've got your adjustments there on the side of the seat. Pedal layout down below, we've got our light control here with the hood latch release and then you can see more of that blue here with the grab handle. And, well, let's pop in. Come 
Well, the window tint actually helps out quite a bit with uh, lighting for the uh, video today. But you guys can see the padding all around of the steering wheel. We got some controls here for the center stack. This does have adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist, turn signal, windshield wiper stock, and well, there's a the steering wheel. Now here is the center gauge cluster. Now you guys can see this doesn't have a ton of miles on it, 317, but look at the average fuel economy thus far uh, with that uh, mileage and then obviously the setup this has on it. Uh, but you can see those different screens you can scroll through here with the Bronco. I think this one's probably the coolest, right? It's in the off-road status. And then you guys can see what we have the tire setup from an air pressure perspective. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for that part of the screen. Now, for the GOAT modes with the Wild Track, you guys can see you've got the normal Eco, Sport, Slippery, Mud Ruts, Sand, and then Baja with this. You don't have like a Rock Crawl specific mode because again, it's supposed to be like the high speed package for the Bronco. And to kind of continue on that high speed theme, we have front and rear lockers, trail turn assist, stability control. We don't have a uh, stabilizer bar disconnect. You cannot get that with the Wild Track. You have to get the Badlands to get that uh, feature, but there's all the buttons here. And the cool thing about the Bronco is they're pretty much like on the fly and you can do them in the middle of movements and everything, so it's super practical. Now you guys can see we've got the large infotainment system here. So if we pop it in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that do turn with the steering wheel, which is uh, pretty cool. You got the top view of the Bronco as well. And then notice here, we've got the different camera viewpoints. And speaking of cameras, if we press the camera button, Notice we have a viewpoint out the front as well. So overall from a camera perspective, rather, it's covered. As for the rest of the screen, you have the auxiliary screen here on the side. You've got the main screen. Response time is great on the screen. And then shortcut bar there at the bottom. And well, there you go. Down below, we've got our analog controls for the radio. Climate controls, we have heated seats, heated steering wheel as wheel. Haha, <laughs> I just got to make that joke. Got some USBs here, wireless phone charger. And then notice our little Ford logo there that kind of looks like Bronco headlights with the bolts. And then we have the shifter for the 10 speed automatic, which is very bright in the sun right now. And then we have our goat mode select with our drive line select here. And notice we have four wheel high as well as four wheel auto. We have like our off road cruise control. And we have our window controls here in the center, mirror adjustments. And then notice the center console, storage space right there. Got the Bronco logo. And you can see the glove box here. And finishing things up. Again, we've got the insulation here at the top. And just like a Wrangler, you can take off these two pieces very seamlessly with these little latches. And then the back, you do have to use tools for, but again, it's not super difficult. And auxiliary switches, six of them too, so you can add quite a bit to this. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, then throughout the rest of the rear, and let's set off. Well, of course, we have to test these Bilstein position sensitive shocks over the curb to see how it all performs together <laughs> flawlessly. So, setting off here with the Bronco Wild Track, obviously, with this whole setup, I'm guessing this is also lifted. Uh, the space that there is between the uh, wheel well and everything with the 37s is quite substantial, and so I don't think this is uh, all stock from that perspective. Still got tons of torque. That wasn't even full throttle and it gets up and moves. It's so one thing that's awesome about the uh, Bronco is the two sevens just peppy from a, an acceleration perspective. Now you do get a little bit of tire noise with these tires. It's kind of expected though, the Bronco in general, it doesn't matter what you have with it, you get tire noise. I'm going around the corner here, handling's great. So you get with the independent front suspension. Love the torque. Maneuverability with this is fantastic. Um, but you know, still drives like a Bronco. So like compared to a regular SUV or truck, yeah, it is a little bit rougher around the edges, but that's the price you pay for a vehicle that looks as cool as this looks and that you can take like literally everything off. You can take the doors off, you can take the top off. Can't take the windshield down like the Wrangler, but who would do that anyways? Look at that, there's a first edition there too. That's pretty cool, um, but yeah. Really solid, uh, actually. You know, when you're not going over big bumps and everything, it's actually relatively comfortable. Like I said, there is a little bit more tire noise associated with this, though. I will say that. And we, of course, have to get back onto the curb, so we gotta loop back through here. And around, and we'll sum things up. Also, we're gonna see if this rubs at all, so I'm gonna do full lock. No rubbing. So, yeah, solid build overall. 
Um, but anyways, as for the wild track part of this, awesome package, right? Come standard with the Sasquatch package, it's the high speed package, right? Um, it looks great uh, from the factory. Now with the add-ons on this, definitely, I mean, you guys can see with that one in the cactus gray, it looks cool. Um, now this obviously is more of like an on-road type build, but let's be honest, how many of you are actually gonna take this off-road, right? If your name's not Ben Hardy, you're probably never gonna take this off-road. So, you know, if you want cool on-road looks, then that's what this build gives you. And by the way, we're in two-wheel drive and look at this. This is mall crawler certified, see? We can get up that curb, so you can get up the curbs at the mall too. Um, but you could take this off-road if you wanted to. I know that the wheels are kind of big for off-road stuff, uh, but again, this has so much capability and it actually has more ground clearance compared to stock because of the setup. And so believe it or not, you'd be able to crawl over quite a uh, bit with this, uh, no problem whatsoever. So yeah, really cool package. And let me know what you guys think about this build. Now let's get something's up for our video on this Bronco Wild Track. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork for giving me some time with the Bronco. I'll see all of you guys in that next video.